Hello and welcome to The Ladder Plus. In this episode, we are going to be talking about Runway 34, which has been directed by Ajit Devgan, who also stars in the movie along with Rakul Preet Singh and Amitabh Bachchan. The first half of the film is dedicated to proving the fact that the character that Ajit Devgan plays, who's a pilot, he is an alpha man. No, literally, when we first see the character, we hear a jingle-like thing in the background. It says he's an alpha man, which makes me wonder, had he been a little less manly, would he be a beta man? Or are there other categories of men, like manliness, which may be gamma men or delta men? Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Meanwhile, Ajay Devgan proves his alpha man status by smoking non-stop or by picking up women at the nightclub. For instance, we get the scene where he goes to this nightclub and picks up a woman and she says, what will I get if I come with you? And he says, my company. Okay. Another quality of the alpha man is that he has a photographic memory. You don't want this man near your computer's history. So we clearly have a hero glorification factor going on at the beginning because he's not just called a pilot, but an ace pilot. That's what Rakul Preet Singh calls him when she's introduced to him. She says, I know, I know this guy, he's an ace pilot. She is his co-pilot on a flight from Dubai to Kochi. And the first half is about how these two land the plane in really, really rough and turbulent weather. All of this should have been tense and nail biting stuff, but it all looks generic because of the generic dialogues, the generic visual effects and the generic characters. Now Ajay Devgan for instance has a wife and a daughter. The film would have played out no differently had those characters been written out and had he just been a single alpha man. Even the plane set is generic. There only seems to be an economy class. Uh, maybe they thought we wouldn't sympathize as much with the champagne zippers in business class or first class. Instead we get a young mother with a little infant in her arms and even before the plane takes off she's telling her husband over the phone about how she's so afraid because it's her first flight and all that kind of stuff. This is not spoon feeding, it is shoving a pipe down your throat and hosing the emotions down. The second half morphs into a kind of courtroom drama where Ajay and Rakul are subjected to an inquiry about the whole event. Uh, Bowman Irani plays the very generic owner of the airline company and Amitabh Bachchan, who is highly theatrical, plays the prosecutor who wants to get the details out about what really happened that day. This character, this Amitabh Bachchan character, speaks only Shuddh Hindi even when he's referring to a polygraph, though at times he lapses into English words as well. I don't know what the deal is with that. All of this, again, should have been suspenseful and emotional stuff, but it's slow and sluggish and there are hardly any surprises. Maybe it is the two and a half hour running time, which may be too much for this kind of film. At a story level, Runway 34 is certainly interesting, but as a film, it falls flat. Even the little twist at the end is generic. The film is based on a real life event, but the screenplay reads like a wiki page of the event. You see it, but you don't really feel it. That's it for Runway 34. If you like this review, do subscribe to Galata Plus and see you soon at the movies.